Hello everyone, this is James Quick, Microsoft Technical Evangelist here in South Florida. On the screen right now you can see my contact information. My email is jaquick at microsoft.com. My Twitter handle is jquickwit. And my blog is blogs.msdn.com slash quick underscore thoughts. So as you can see on the title of this PowerPoint, today I'm going to be talking about creating games using Construct 2. This is going to be part one of a several part series uh, making games with Construct 2 and this is basically just an introduction. So for those of you who don't know, Construct 2 is a free tool that you can download from the internet and run on any Windows machine, it doesn't run on a Mac, uh, but a free tool to build cross-platform games and with Construct 2 you don't have to write code, it's more of a drag and drop interface but you can get pretty creative and do some cool stuff. So I have the Skira website up right now and Skira is where you can download Construct 2 here with this download button and again that website is skira.com s-c-i-r-r-a.com and from there it's just a free download it's pretty pretty straightforward you just follow the steps to finish and install so once you get Construct 2 downloaded you will um, you'll have it open and you'll you'll probably have a pane up here with some kind of introduction I've already X that out, so I've just got a blank screen. So uh, to start, I'm going to come over to File and Create New. And there's a bunch of different things we can choose from, including some pretty cool templates that we'll talk about later on. But to start with, I'm just going to create an empty project. And then I'm going to kind of talk about the layout and what we're looking at here um, in Construct 2. So on the left-hand side, we have the Properties pane. And this should be the default layout when you uh, when you uh, download Construct 2. You can change these things around, but this should be the default that you'll be looking at. The Properties pane on the left over here will show the properties for anything that's selected. So I can select something that's in my layout here in the middle. I can select one of these files or folders over here. So if I select a different file, these, uh, these properties are going to change accordingly. In the middle here is where I have my, let me zoom out so I can see that whole thing. Uh, this is where I have my layout. So we're going to start layout 1 here is selected. And layout 1 is basically a blank empty canvas right now. And this is where I'm going to add anything layout wise to my game. So any of my objects, my sprites, um, maybe my player object, my enemies, platform, stuff like that. I can add, the, add those in here, resize them, make duplicates, whatever I want. If I come up here and select event sheet, this is where all of the logic from uh, for our game is going to take place. So in the layout we can arrange things and create objects and then the event sheet is, is where we tell them how to act and what to do and things like that. Uh, one thing you might notice right now is there's this dash line here in the in the layout and that represents, if I select uh, my project folder over here, that represents the window size which is what you actually see in the game. So I'm going to change that to 1708 by 960 so that it matches the layout size. So now if I were to run my game right now I would see this entire screen, um, this entire layout on the screen which is kind of what we want. So again on the right hand side we've got our project projects pane so it's got all the files in our project here you can see the layout, the event sheet and then a bunch of different things. On the bottom we have our objects so any objects we add to our game are going to be listed over here. Um, so that basically wraps up the introduction for Construct 2. Again, that's just a quick overview of what it is and what it looks like. In the next video, we're going to work on adding some sprites, some characters to our game, and then giving them some behaviors. So uh, stay tuned for part two.